Hello my dear students, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are going to discuss about the PN junction diode which is under reverse bias. In last class, we learned about the PN junction diode which is under forward bias. What and all will happen that we learned in the previous class. So now PN junction diode under reverse biasing. So in the case of PN junction because of the drift and the diffusion there we see this is P and this is N in P side negative ions will be forming over here and at N region positive ions are forming right because of this negative and positive ions a potential difference will be developing across it this is negative and this is positive okay this is potential barrier now if we are connecting this pn junction under reverse bias we will be connecting p to the negative terminal and n to the positive terminal this is called a reverse biasing in forward biasing we will we uh, connected the same terminals p to the positive and n to the negative so negative is connected to the p terminal then it is getting see what will happen this here it is negative and here also a negative so if v0 is the apply this potential barrier potential developed across the barrier barrier potential and v is the applied potential what will be see both are of same uh, see negative to negative and positive to, to positive so the net potential will be v plus v0 that means barrier potential will be increasing if we are connecting it in reverse bias so if this was the potential barrier vo this was vo and after applying reverse bias this will be getting increased the barrier potential will be getting increased so it is the um, potential barrier is depletion region is getting increased okay if it is under reverse bias but in this p region there will be minority carriers right so that minority carriers means it has negative charge this neg minority electrons will be moving towards the n region which is an, a majority carrier over here right here it is a minority carriers but at the n region it is majority carriers so it will be moving so drift of these electrons will happen and the same way here also positive charges will be or holes will be moving towards the p region that can happen so because of this minority carriers a very small amount of current will be producing over there which can be measured in microamps okay so the minority current will minority due to the presence of this minority carriers or due to the movement of minority carriers this uh, no what is said a small amount of current is producing that is called a uh, uh, no, what is that that amount of current is measured in micro amps so for the practical purpose how can we uh, draw the circuit diagram for the reverse biasing so here this is the positive negative and here i will be connecting one variable potential and it's not like this negative to a side and positive to the n side and here we will be connecting one micro ampere and this is a variable potential which we are giving it is connected with the voltage okay so this is for reverse biasing if we are drawing the characteristic curve for this reverse biasing see here we, we will be here it is current in microamps and this is the potential and here first initially it won't be having the potential or very slight potential due to the minority carriers at a particular point it will be a constant and that's the current will be increasing current will be increasing this potential is called a breakdown potential okay breakdown voltage okay then here usually in the normal purpose it will be going like this only it won't be uh, and, and if we are increasing the potential value increasing the uh, applied voltage more than a particular value maybe the it will be the diode will be getting uh, spoiled okay so don't increase more in practical purpose also we should not not supposed to increase the voltage after a particular limiting value 
okay so a saturation current will be forming over here this when it is the current is increasing to a particular value it's more than a particular value that potential is called a breakdown voltage okay this is about the reverse biasing so next we are going to study about the applications of this diode pn junction diode first application is it is used as a rectifier okay what is a rectifier alternating current means it will be changing the direction of current right so to uh, get it as a rectified or it is uh, convert to convert the ac to a dc we can use rectifiers for making uh, for uh, constructing a rectifier we are in need of this pn junction diodes so next is application of pn junction diode so here diode as rectifier rectifiers are the circuits which will be helping to convert ac to dc for converting ac to dc we will be using rectifiers for construction of rectifiers we require pn junction diodes there are two types of rectifiers one is half wave rectifier and next is full wave rectifier okay for half wave require uh, as rectifiers we require only one pn junction diode see from the transformer output of the transformer we will be getting we will be connecting one pn junction diode and here a uh, load resistance will be connected so here we are giving this is input we are giving an ac at the input when we are giving the ac uh, circuit over here here positive side first here positive will be coming when the positive side is passing through this pn junction here positive is connected to positive means it will be a under forward bias so if i am drawing the diagram of the input this is the input which we are giving to the circuit here at the point this is a and this is the point b here when positive half of the cycle is coming this is the input when positive half is coming to the pn junction what will happen it is under forward bias so we will be getting an output voltage over here so and when the negative half is coming and after next uh, negative half right positive half already gone negative half so negative is connected to the positive that so it is under reverse bias no output won't be there and next is again it is positive is coming so it will be positive only the positive values will be getting rectified over there negative will be cut okay negative won't be passing through that so what will happen here uh, see only half wave is getting rectified half of the wave is getting rectified that is why it is called as half wave rectifier so instead of that if i am using two diodes in a center tap so from the center also i'll be giving one connection so that kind of rectifiers are called as full wave rectifier this is the transformer from transformer ac is given here one diode is given like this and here another diode is given and the output will be taken from these two so this is the output a uh, load resistance is connected at the output over there this is d1 and this is d2 so for the first this is uh, terminal a and this is for the b when i am considering a this is the input which is getting to the a for b at the same time b will be under uh, having a phase difference of pi by 2 so we are having a phase difference of pi out of phase with uh, with a therefore it will be like this when i am considering the positive half positive half of the a will be passing through uh, the diode d1 and it is under forward bias we will be getting a uh, positive half cycle then for the a negative half cycle when it is going what will happen reverse bias so current won't be passing through that and then next at the same time for b what will happen but b is under forward bias at that time so through b d1 uh, through b current will be passing since it is under forward bias so we will be getting an output like this then a will be giving the output so anyway 
either from d1 or from d2 we will be getting the outputs so both the halves are getting rectified over there so that is called a full wave rectifier so using center tap method we will be getting the rectifiers so it is a full waves will be getting rectified over there so first is half wave next is full wave rectifier so in the uh, even if we are say, uh, saying it is ac to dc conversion these are the rectifiers you can just look into the output waves output waves that is only positive half cycle is getting positive cycles are getting it's not like it is a constant voltage right so here we we will be getting only the positive half cycle of the uh, uh, ac ac is having positive side and negative side so even if we are getting the positive side it's not unidirectional right see it's um, only first half uh, see positive half cycle means it's going in the increasing and then it is decreasing then it is increasing so it is not unidirectional positive and up and down up and down is happening over here right so this is uh, this is not a perfect unidirectional dc current so now how can we convert this into a perfect unidirectional current how can we make it like that with the help of capacitor if we are connecting a high value capacitor here in the along with the uh, load resistance or before load resistance if we are connecting a capacitor uh, across that across that load resistance we will be getting a unidirectional current how how we will be representing that circuit diagram so here this is the rectifier which we are using as either it can be a full wave rectifier or a half wave rectifier from the rectifier output we will be connecting a capacitor and then the load resistance if we are connecting we will be getting a unidirectional current at the output okay how it will happen see here this is the input which we are kind of giving from the rectifier so this is the input voltage so here when it is getting when the input voltage is coming over here what will happen the capacitor is getting charged right first it is getting fully charged and at the output we will be getting the maximum current and when before discharging the flow will be continuing in such a manner so here it will be existing as a uh, the a uh, unidirectional current only so the capacitor so maximum value of capacitor so time constant to for the decrease it won't allow if we are using a high value capacitor because time constant will be represented as the inverse product of r and c so as the c value increases according to that time constant will be very very less so instead of going to the discharge mode it will be continuing in the same way itself so this is how we will be converting The, that is why we will always say uh, the uh, capacitor capacitor won't be uh, allowing the dc to pass through that it will be allowing ac only right so here this is how it is rectifier is working if we are using a capacitor across the load resistance we will be getting a perfect unidirectional current okay clear children so this is one of the application of diode which is used as a rectifier so next class we will be learning about the opto electronic devices in which this diode is working okay so i think today's video is useful for you and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you for watching bye